Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make those really cool eye transitions you just saw all in Final Cut Pro, no extra plugins, no extra installations. All you need is the camera, footage, and Final Cut Pro itself. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So for this transition, you are going to want two different clips. One being a macro shot of an eye, or a general area, steady shot, not too much movement. And the other shot doesn't really matter. I chose this shot. It goes really well just with the, uh, the whole transition. You can use whatever. So what you're first gonna wanna do is scale your eye shot so it's uh, the correct framing that you want. This seems pretty good here. And you play that back and it's generally smooth. We can stabilize this and make it a little bit more smooth, which will just make things a little easier for us. For this transition, it makes it just a lot more easy if you raise your footage above your previous footage. After you raise your footage above the timeline, you're going to go into the effects bar and search shape mask. and drag it onto your footage. Go into the effects, make sure you have your transform finished, press original. So this is going to clear your shape mask and you'll be able to line up everything. You're going to want to bring curvature all the way up to a circle and bring this down to the same size as your eye. And zoom in to 200% and just continue to drag this and you want to make the shape mask the inner circle a little bit smaller than the iris and then you bring down the feather to just a little bit around the eye do what's called a keyframe you are going to want to press transform make sure your keyframes are selected and you're going to go frame by frame, moving this little shape mask with the iris, the middle of the iris. After you've keyframed all of it and it's lined up for the transition, a couple seconds, it doesn't have to be long at all because you can finish the timing after it. You're going to press composite and invert mask. So there we go, it's lined up. Drag the footage on top of your other footage. It's gonna look a little weird right now, but don't worry, it will look good at the, the end. Now we can fit this to the normal thing and you can see that it all fits. It, it's smooth, it runs smooth. And this is where we get into the next step. Press the transform button here press the keyframe button, this little diamond up here, and zoom this up all the way to the center. Make sure it's centered, that's important, that's very important to keep it centered. And then you're going to crank this up until it actually surrounds the whole entire clip. Make sure you bring your cursor to the very front of your clip because that is what you are going to do. You're going to blow up the iris so all the edges are kind of on the edge of your frame. You're going to skip about 10 frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Maybe a little bit more, let's go 15. 15 frames and you're going to bring down the scale you're gonna drag down the scale to whatever you want the whole entire uh, scene to be in. And then we can play that back. It's not bad at all. After you have everything put in place, we are going to keyframe the mask itself. So this you can kind of play with. You press keyframe on the opacity and you kind of just drag as you want. I think when she goes into the full eye, there we go. 
And that's your sequence right there. And when you add music and you color grade it, it looks really cool. After you've figured out your sequence, you make this a compound clip and you can time it by pressing Shift N and adjust it to whatever music you have. And yeah, you can really do whatever you want with that. And there you go, that's how to do it. Thank you guys for watching. It was a very simplified kind of run and gun. I haven't done any tutorials yet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.